Well, it is time to get these beds cleaned up. So these, uh, this bed right here and then this bed over here were the first original rhododendron beds when I first started getting into this, uh, is probably 10 years ago. And we were planting out all different types of varieties in these beds, but we, we put bark down several times and, you know, took real good care of them in the beginning, had the edges all nice and done. But as I've expanded, and created more beds throughout the landscape. We've kind of neglected these because they were getting more mature and we didn't have to worry about them. It just takes a lot of effort to keep expanding and then go back and maintain the beds that you have. The goal eventually is to have the entire landscape or the entire property done with you know rhododendrons and then just maintain on a regular basis so all the beds constantly look nice. So it's time to get this done. It's not looking real good. It's starting to get overgrown. Uh, it's starting to get overgrown. It has been overgrown. And Shelly is just really uh, going nuts about this. So we'll get them all cleaned up and I'd like to prune up underneath them a little bit. Here's a bed that Shelly already started. And this is what the they all looked like in the beginning. This is one of the original beds we did as well. And uh, it was all overgrown just like the one you just looked at and she got under there and cleaned it all up pulled all the weeds out now what i would like to do is go through there and start pruning up the rhododendrons because that really makes them look nice and mature when you prune the undergrowth of the rhododendrons the bottom layers you can see the stems coming up and it just it really adds a level of maturity to the plants in the landscape and it just makes them look older more mature uh, it adds a lot of value when we get done with all that we're gonna rebark these beds with uh, just some landscape bark. So I went over to uh, Julie's Construction down in McKenna yesterday with the dump truck, and we picked up a whole load of this medium bark. It's funny when you go there, every or just about any landscape business that sells rock and gravel and bark, they all uh, they every time I go it's a little bit different so this is the medium it used to be medium was pretty rough but there's a lot of fine in there too but i think that's going to be perfect for growing rhododendrons and and then when i get done with all that we're going to go over the top of everything with some big nugget bark just to try to prevent weeds from growing so these beds last a little bit longer but anyway that's what we're doing right now let's uh get busy on this and we'll take some more shots here when we get all this weeded up Well, I decided to do just a bit of edging here to clean things up a bit and as I got going we started talking and decided why don't we just expand this area you know as we get older we want to do less and less mowing anyway and we've got so many roadies and varieties that we need to get planted out that we need to make more space here so on the back side of this bed I went ahead and edged it out quite a ways here and I'll be able to fit probably four five six different smaller variety roadies back here and it'll be a nice little environment for them because it's nice and shaded from these bigger roadies up front all right guys it's all finished up are you ready to see it bam i think it turned out terrific i'm really excited about this at first my wife was a little skeptical when i started trimming up the roadies uh, you know as much as i did but i think it turned out great and one of the things I really like about pruning these rhododendrons up like this in kind of a vase shape is they it puts more height on them. It, it makes, makes them look a little bit older, uh, more mature in the landscape. I think it adds a lot of value. It cleans them up and gives them a haircut. Um, they look a lot nicer. It adds, it adds value in the form of maturity. Um, and then the one thing it really does for these roadies, pruning them in general, taking, taking some of those low growing branches off, is it makes it a healthier plant overall and any landscape plant will do this but you know as the top growth is forming the bottom growth is forming so all those roots are just building underground and when you prune the plant it, it maintains the same size root ball and it just decreases the amount of top growth that the root ball has to support so the top growth ends up being healthier and happier in the long run and so anyway, I'm pretty excited about this. I think it turned out great. And now you can kind of see my wife's been 
cleaning up that bed a little bit. She's been pulling weeds. She's got a big pile there that's dying back. But that bed, uh, I think I'm going to prune a little bit less, but still prune up quite a bit. Um, I, I'd like to get some separation between the roadies, like I did in this bed, but maybe not quite as much. And then I'm going to go ahead and edge and bark it. But I like the choices I've made here. Um, I, I showed you just... Uh, in the last little clip that I decided to expand this bed a little bit and I edged it out some here I think I went out about four or five more feet here in the back side and, and added some roadies so we've got one that I'm pretty excited about this is uh, dreamland and it is a really beautiful variety if you want to google some of these images dreamland really nice looking roadie this is midnight and we bought that last year at Downs Rhododendron and it is just a beautiful color it's just a it's a purple but it's almost just kind of a straight purple not a real dark and then the inside blotch is really dark and it just stands out big flowers on that one looks really nice this is a uh, Nancy Evans and that's a real nice one it's kind of it starts out a reddish kind of turns to orange and then yellow as it opens up all the way low growing will stay kind of compact four to five feet and then this is uh white gold and it it bloomed for us we also bought that with the midnight roadie there at downs rhododendron and it bloomed beautifully this year just big white flowers with a gold blotch in the center really pretty one i'm excited about that one blooming in the future and i was trying to figure out another low growing one to plant here i had this out in the hoop house and trying to figure out how to get some of that stuff planted out this is buttermint and i think it'll go real well um, color wise under the boar salt there and then anna rose whitney which is a pink one uh, so anyway that's the end of the shot here for cleaning up the bed stand back and get a full shot of it I think it turned out spectacular. Uh, only thing I'm a little concerned about is the bark that I was able to get this time is more of a, it was, you know, it's medium bark, but it was a finer grade of medium. So the birds can get in there and kind of knock that soil around. And um, weeds can also, weed seeds can kind of embed really easily and start sprouting. And so I might come back over the top of this with like a coarse bark, a real coarse bark, just to kind of top it all off and cover everything over. But Quite a difference from a bed that was looking like these guys here, huh? <laughs> we got to get this all finished up. Anyway, thanks for checking it out. If you like it, like it. Subscribe if you want to follow along. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.